Hi, welcome back to Indigo Smokes Tarot. So I'm doing um, a collective reading for uh, just for the eclipse that we're dealing with right now. This is a partial eclipse, a partial lunar eclipse, um, the full moon in Capricorn. So let's just briefly cover what the eclipses are about. So eclipses are... Well, this one especially is about purging. It's about getting rid of the old, um, getting into alignment with who you're supposed to be, what you want, and where you're supposed to be on your path. And um, it's also with the Mercury retrograde that we're going through. It's also about you know reassessing and reviewing the past. You know, making taking the lessons from the past so that you know how to operate moving forward and it's a very potent energy i'll just say that it's a full moon it's in capricorn okay we have hella planets in retrograde this is like the universal or the cosmic way of pushing us forward pushing us where we need to go forcing us to deal with our past, heal from our past, so that we can move forward without baggage, okay? So that is what this energy is essentially about. And with eclipses, the effects of them and the energy of the eclipse, it tends to play out over the next, you know, six or seven months. So this is just the beginning. But I wanted to do a reading for the collective because it's just a very strong phase that we're going through or that we're entering right now so anyways i shuffled and put all the cards off camera like i said in previous videos it helps me to cut down on time not a lot but i try <laughs> so let's start off with the tarot i did let me see what is this all right so i don't remember what this deck is called but i'm using this tarot i think it's like it's called the dark tarot or the gothic something i don't remember uh, I'm using the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards as clarifiers. I'll probably pull um, a card from the Archangel Michael Oracle by Doreen Virtue. And I'm also using the Mermaid Tarot. Okay, so to start off, I got the Reversed Queen of Swords clarified by the Will of Fortune. Okay, so... Immediately off the bat, we already have two major arcana right here. So anyways, with this Queen of Swords in reverse, she is not happy in reverse. She's really not. She's um, She can be resentful, spiteful, um, bitter, very unforgiving, um, obsessive, dysfunctional, either a harsh communicator or someone who's just poor at communication, all of those things. So with this being um, one of the main energy cards that popped out, I think that's, it's funny because the Queen of Swords popped out twice, one in the reverse, one in the upright. So with her in the reverse being clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, if that is an energy that um, you're in, at this time I see that changing or I see that needing to change maybe the energies that we are dealing with right now and up until the next six months will you know push you out of that energy push you out of um, maybe repressing trauma maybe um, pushing you out of being unforgiving pushing you out of being um, bitter or resentful over the past or just the way that things are going in your life well things are changing and um, if you're in that energy I see that you're being pushed out of it and if you know you're not in that energy this is just needing to make sure that you don't allow the pressures and the um, kind of like the drastic energies of this eclipse up until the next six months just making sure that you don't get resentful or what word am I looking for if you're not already in that energy of the reverse Queen of Swords this is basically saying try not to try not to fight the changes that are happening because with the will of fortune that is all about change 
unfortunately it's in the upright so it's good change but it's just about being receptive to it all right not trying to control it not trying to hold on to the past not being obsessive not being um stuck on harsh emotions or not being stuck in a low vibratory energy it's all about you know just going with the flow of the changes that are coming in because it's all aligning you us where we're supposed to go so try not to fight it try not to be resentful try not to be you know unforgiving try to just keep your vibration high okay you don't want to be stuck in a negative rut you don't want to be stuck in negative emotions when you have all of this good stuff coming in so try to avoid that if that's not an energy that you um are currently in or that you're usually in just try and you know safeguard because you know change is something that you know, a lot of people do not like especially when it's unpredictable as it usually is when we're dealing with eclipse energy things can come off very unexpected very sudden very dr drastic or dramatic so just try not to um try not to be overly controlling of it because the queen of swords in reverse can be very much overly controlling as well so just try to go with the flow a little bit more and um, the next card that we have is the Reversed Hierophant and the Queen of Swords in the Upright. So um, this could go a few different ways. <clears throat> the Reversed Hierophant can be about taking a new approach to things, which, you know, that is in alignment with the Eclipse energy as well, because you're basically releasing the old so that you can try something new. You're not staying stuck in old patterns, old ways, old jobs, old relationships, things of that nature. And with the Queen of Swords in reverse, you're actually cutting that out. So if you have been dealing with relationships where it wasn't going right, it wasn't making you happy, um, if you're dealing with relationships with people who were non-committal, the Queen of Swords, she cuts that out. But also with this pairing here, it's also like, give me a minute, Mercury retrograde has my mind like in shambles. All right, I have been trying to do this video for like two hours now, so give me a second. Um, this is also about cutting out the old and the traditional that doesn't work, all right, so that you can take a new fresh approach to things okay and um the queen of swords is very smart so it's also being very smart in the way that you take this new approach you know it's not it's not rash it's not um half-assed it's actually being able to think things through being able to take a new approach using your logic using your analytical skills and abilities and like i said so it's just a mixture of those two things it won't apply like specifically to everybody I'm this is for the collective so take it however it resonates but definitely the hierophant in reverse it can be about um you know commitment folks people who don't like to commit people who don't like to be you know tied down so if that applies to you in a relationship since the queen of swords cuts that out because she doesn't have time for it and in the sense of just um cutting out the old and the traditional and the old way taking a new more fresh approach to things this is definitely about cutting out the old, going with the new, and cutting out th things that aren't worth your commitment, things that are not worth your investment anymore. All right? And I hope that made sense. I feel like I'm rambling a lot more in this one. So, anyways, right after that, we have the Ace of Cups here. Don't know if you can see it. And to clarify that, we got the reverse ten of wands and the ace of wands so um the ten of wands in reverse is about if you if you know what atlas shrugged is that's exactly what it is it's like you're releasing the burden of carrying the weight of the world the weight of a situation the weight of a relationship anything that is uh the causes like being overexerted, anything that causes you to feel burdened, anything that just weighs you down in any way, shape, or form. It's about releasing that. And with two aces here, it's definitely coming into more fulfillment, more self love, maybe more, um, maybe better romantic connections or intimate connections. And overall, just having a renewed sense of fulfillment and a renewed sense of passion as you're moving forward into uncharted territory uh let me see if i can read this in another way 
Yeah. The Ten of Wands in reverse. The tens are also about um, cycles. So any ten that you see, it indicates the end of a cycle or the completion or the fulfillment of a cycle. So with the Ten of Wands in reverse, you're cutting out the old cycles and you're going into the new cycles with the two aces. So that's wonderful. That's beautiful. Um, and then with the Chakra Wisdom Clarifiers, so we have the Mysticism card to clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune. So this card kind of has a, a high priestess and intuitive energy to it. And this is kind of like embracing the unknown, like knowing that you may not see completely or at all where things are going or where you're headed but knowing intuitively that it's gonna be okay <laughs> uh you're nothing bad nothing that is not for your highest good is gonna happen and it's just about having that inner knowing and that inner trust and having faith in your intuition and in the things that you can't yet see so once again uh, these three cards it's just talking about um going with the flow knowing that everything is working out in a divine manner because this is a major arcana so this is these are divine energies these are cosmic celestial energies at play here and the mysticism card is about submitting to that surrendering to that and even though you can't see every single thing that's going to happen from now until whenever everything's going to be okay know that you are in alignment or you're being put into alignment and that things are going to work out in your favor because the will of fortune card is um it's all about good fortune luck lady luck being on your side things working out in your favor and also change new cycles okay so just surrendering to that not being this obsessive resentful um unforgiving energy right here resisting stuff so definitely good cards to have it kind of balances out the negative energy of the queen of swords in reverse all right and um the other chakra wisdom card that we got this one the instinct card is this similar to the mysticism card just in the sense that it's saying go with your spirit go with your spirit guides go with your intuition um go with your instincts so with this clarifying the upright queen of swords and the reversed um, hierophant here. Like I said, the queen of swords is in the upright. She She's very smart. She's very smart, shrewd. Uh, she sees through the bullshit. She is good at problem solving. She's good at facing problems head on. She's good at cutting out the unnecessary. Even though she's very logical, she's still a water energy because she's feminine. So that means that she has a good balance of logic and intuition. So fooling her tripping her up is very hard to do when she, once she is focused on what it is that she wants so with these three together the hierophant queen of swords and the instinct this is just about um having an even balance of logic and intuition as you venture into new territory trying new things, taking a fresh approach to yourself, taking a fresh approach to life, taking a fresh approach to your career, taking a fresh approach to problems. You know, this is just all about letting your instincts, letting your spirit guides, letting, you know, the divine lead you into this, this new energy where you're breaking away from the old and going into the new. All right. And this is also, um, following your instinct your intuition as well as your common sense and cutting out things that are not in alignment with you things that are not worth your commitment things or people that are resistant to long-term um commitment all right and i hope this is making sense like i said i feel like i'm rambling but you know but anyway, i'm trying all right and with the ace of cups here the reverse ten of wands the ace of wands to clarify we have the reversed insecurity card and the discovery card sorry about that hold on and the discovery card so 
I like saying this in the reverse. It means that you're coming out of insecurity. You're coming into more confidence. When I was doing the pre-shuffle, the, um, the Queen of Wands and the Five of Cups came out. And the Queen of Wands is all about confidence, um, being able to go after what you want, manifest what you want, being sexy, being confident, being, you know, that bitch, <laughs> basically, or that nigga, or that guy. Um, that's definitely an energy with this Ace of Wands that you guys are coming into. And with the Five of Cups being there, I feel like the Five of Cups and the Queen of Wands is all about... Um, regaining your confidence regaining your power regaining your passion and your drive after dealing with some kind of loss hurt or disappointment and definitely with this reversed insecurity card it's about coming out of that stepping into your power and fully discovering who you are what you want where you're going and um there's something in particular about this card that i like but i haven't seen this in forever so i'm trying to remember without looking at the book it's um the there's like a little story that goes with this card it's basically where um one of the characters in this in this image they realize that someone they were trying to have an intimate relationship with or someone that they were trying to show love to rejected them because they didn't know how to accept love so that let this person who was trying to give them love uh, to a whole new understanding of what love means and what to look for in a relationship um, being able to realize the truth of people the truth of situations and um, basically just discovering that every everybody isn't on the same level as far as how to accept love how to give love and it's the discovery that you don't have to um, you don't have to cling on or overgive in a situation that's for you it'll just happen you know it you won't have to force it okay and if um, in this card this person deals with rejection it's like if you're dealing with this rejection that means that you're being directed somewhere else you know I hope this is making sense all right so let me see if there's anything else that I get from here yeah so other than the message that i just um basically gave about the story behind this card it's also it's pretty self-explanatory in the sense of it goes right in right hand in hand with the reverse tire effect it's all about discovering new things taking new approaches realizing that maybe you haven't been living to your full capacity you know so that's definitely a good pairing and let me see these two cards wanted to pop out as a clarifier for the, um, I think for the, for these three. So the reverse four of wands and the six of pentacles. This is, to me anyways, it could go more than one way. But what I really got from it when it came out was no longer giving to things that don't bring you stability, security, or happiness. You know, not really being receptive or overgiving in situations that maybe aren't balanced, in situations that aren't happy, secure, or stable. It's like you're no longer giving your energy, your time, your money to, you know, that kind of energy. So if there was a situation, whether it's work, personal, uh, creative, where maybe you weren't getting back what you were giving, I see you no longer giving to that. Um, if there was a relationship or a domestic situation where um, there was a lot of conflict, uh, a lack of security, a lack of stability, you're no longer giving to that. You're no longer giving to people, places, things, situations, habits that don't serve you and that don't replenish you in return. Okay? So, only give to the things that bring you happiness. Only give to the things that bring you security. Only give um, your energy, your time. To things that are worthwhile and that bring you to a higher state of being you know so if it doesn't secure you if it doesn't stabilize you if it doesn't make you happy if it doesn't give anything back to you stop giving to it okay got it 
Alrighty, and this might officially be one of my shortest videos ever. I've been trying to get it to where I can time it at about, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. But hold on my screen. There we go. Alright, so any last messages for the collective as we deal with these energies? from now up until the next six months with this eclipse energy and last messages for the collective as we deal it's too many cards too many cards all right divine higher powers guardian angels and archangels of the collective any more messages for the collective as we deal with no any more messages as we deal with the eclipse energy from now up until the next six months. Damn, they're just falling out now. Alright, any last messages for the collective as we deal with the eclipse energies from now up until the next six months? So far we have three. I'm going to see if one more comes out. If not, I'll just take these three. All right, any last messages for the collective as we handle the eclipse energies from now up until the next six months? There we go. All right. And we got it. All right, so the first card that came out was the let go of fear now. So this is from the Archangel Michael Oracle and it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, let go of heavy, toxic, ego-based thoughts or feelings. Um, there's nothing to fear and that is literally reiterated by the next card which is go forward fearlessly. All right, so remove heavy, toxic, ego-based thoughts and feelings. Go forward fearlessly with confidence and courage, guiding your thoughts and actions in the direction of your true life purpose. So there's that. Nothing to fear. And this is also honor and trust your feelings, honor and trust your intuition. Once again, it goes back to this mysticism card, this instinct card. All right. Trusting yourself. Um, like I said, if it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't feel in alignment, if it doesn't bring you balance, security, stability, fulfillment, happiness, things that enrich you, stop. Stop, 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 stop. All right. Pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to how you feel. Pay attention to your health. Um, as you are moving forward, keep yourself in a high vibratory state. Only keep people, things, and places around you that enrich you, that keep your energy levels high. All right, if something makes you feel bad and it's not constructive, cut it. And the last card that popped out was the decide to be happy now. So that's pretty on the nose, all right? You're discovering new things. You're following your intuition. You have good fortune coming in. Um, you are thinking things. You will be thinking very clearly, analytically, but you'll still be tapped into your intuition if you allow yourself to be so. All right, you are stepping into your power, stepping into your fulfillment. You have everything around you or you're getting, you're starting to receive everything that you need to be happy. But if you can stay in an energy of being grateful, um, if you can stay in an energy of being mindful and in the flow of things, that will allow you to be happy and that will allow the higher power the universe the cosmos whatever you believe in it'll allow that good energy to um, magnetize itself to you'll be able to manifest more happiness more security all of those good things if you can decide to be happy now if you can be mindful of your thoughts mindful of your actions and you know how different things affect you and your moods and your energy so i know that i am kind of rambling but let me see if there's anything else at the bottom of the deck, we have focus on divine and perfect health, right? So um, actions that support your well-being, you know, paying attention to your mental health, your emotional health, keeping yourself where you need to be so that you can manifest what it is that you want. It's very hard to manifest amazing things if you're stuck in a low vibratory energy 
where you are queen of swords in reverse, obsessive, resentful, unforgiving, dysfunctional, all of that. You, it's really hard to manifest happiness and divine and perfect health if this is the energy that you're in because you attract what you are. So try to, you know, stay in good vibes and allow the good fortune, the movement, the forward movement, the changes and the good energy to flow in. Follow your instincts, okay? And allow shit to flow, all right? If something is supposed to be out of your life, and you feel like it's been snatched from you. Unless it's like a death or something. I'm not trying to be insensitive. But if something is being forced out of your life, let it. Because it's happening for a reason, okay? And if you've watched this far, I really, really appreciate it. I hope that this eclipse energy doesn't do you in too bad. Um, I'm holding up pretty strong. I didn't think I would, but I'm here. And I am sure that we will all get through this wonderfully and beautifully. And thank you for watching. And until next time, thank you for watching Indigo Smokes Tarot and this energy update. Enjoy the eclipse. Try to have fun. All right.